off in this round and just tell us what diversity means to you in, in, in your work and in your organization that you've worked with. You know, what does that look like? Uh, we talked a little bit about that this morning, but want to hear a little bit from the panel about what that means to you all. So most of what I've done has been focused at the city of Atlanta level, um, at the government level of the city of Atlanta. So a lot of the lobbying and policy work that you was looking at this year, it's also most of the organizing work I have done has been focused at folks living in the city of Atlanta or working in the city of Atlanta. So in the city of Atlanta, when you say diversity, you think black and white, period. That's where it all starts. I mean, and if you live in Atlanta or you're from Atlanta, you know, um, or you've done any work at the city of Atlanta, uh, race is always an issue that's intersected in every conversation that you're going to have. And so that's where I think the most folks start. But then there becomes this whole um, issue around class. And a lot of the work I did was focused on economic development. And in economic development, you find a lot of tensions within racial backgrounds, whether it's among white folks or black folks or whoever it is, around how people are moving into neighborhoods and what, cla what the class intersection is there. And so particularly in neighborhoods where you see redevelopment happening and revitalization happening already, a lot of that revitalization is middle income to upper middle income, black folks moving into low income black neighborhoods. And there becomes a tension among those two sections of folks as well. You know, there's this very clear <coughs> sense around what affordable housing means in the community and what that does to a community. Um, you hear a lot of people talking about Section 8. If you don't know what Section 8 is, you don't live in one of the neighborhoods that I worked in. Um, and there's this very clear sense of dynamics around income levels in communities. And so that's kind of where I would go next. The other place is really around issues. I mean, people hear about a lot of different issues in neighborhoods. And so what I found was you had the folks who thought jobs were the number one issue for their community, period. That was it. That's what we want to talk about. I need a job. I need to talk about economic development. I need to talk about how we're going to get these folks in place. Other folks, it's public safety, hands down. You know, we need to be in our communities. Our communities are ravaged by drugs, criminal activity, whatever it is. For other folks, it's education. Other people, it's housing. Other folks, it's the environmental issues happening in the community. Um, like I said, in my work, I found, you know, in some neighborhoods, their top issue was transportation. They felt just completely locked by cars in their neighborhood. And it wasn't folks that lived in the community. It was people coming in and using their community as, like, a pass-through. So that was, like, Virginia Highlands, the area around Piedmont Hospital and Buckhead. For other people, it was density. We don't want density in our neighborhoods. We don't want to see big developments. So and when you're talking about transit, you're talking about density, and they're kind of a a double-edged sword, right? We want transit, but we don't want a ton of people in our community. Well, that's how you're going to get paid for transit then. And there's this whole conversation around that. And so I would say, you know, you would you think the biggest challenge is going to be about race, but in actuality, I really feel like the biggest challenge came from where do people live and how do they feel like they're appreciated, particularly by the city. Um, Laverse and I had a conversation before this, and when you're doing economic development in the city of Atlanta, Southwest of Atlanta feels like the rest of the city has been built on its back. I mean, that they're constantly being sold a, a bill of goods. We're going to get a fire station, or we're going to get the belt line, we're going to have this transit running through our communities, and that's going to bring economic development. And then what happens is in the first five years, they sell off the property occupied by Piedmont Hospital, and they start building a trail in the Northeast Corridor. And Southwest of Atlanta feels like, well, we've still yet to see anything we wanted out of this project. We're six years in, and we thought we were going to be the first to get it because we need it the most. And so there's this real tension of, you know, and there's race and income all intersected in that, but there's a very clear tension of how do we, how do we deal with it. So I would say diversity is, is not as simple as race, but it's, race is kind of the place where a lot of people start. Um, and I think that's okay. I mean, it depends on the work you're doing. But to me, if our work is going to be effective, we have to figure out how to organize across issue. We can't be environmental groups solely. We can't be economic development groups only. We can't be labor groups only. Because all those things have such a deep connection <coughs> when it really plays out in communities. In communities, the development that's good for the environmental community may not be good for, for the community as a whole in terms of creating jobs. And vice versa. Sometimes a, a development that's going to create a ton of jobs in the neighborhood can be really bad for the environment. And so one of the examples, I think, is the coal fire power plants that are being, that are being proposed. They, the residents of a lot of these communities want the jobs. And it's a real struggle for them to come to terms with, I should care about the environmental impacts of that. Because for them, it's like, I need to put food on my table. 
And that's a real tension. And until we figure out how to deal with that tension, I think that's where our organizing really kind of hits. We hit each other across the head. You know, we've got to be able and willing to have a conversation about, again, starting where people are, about figuring out how do we deal with, come up with a common goal. How do we come up with something that benefits everybody? And how do we really kind of work through these issues? And sometimes each of us get a little for the betterment of the total of, of the work.